Hey guys, how's it going? So, I'm going to be showing you how to take the floor to the Mazda 3 2006. As you can see, I've got mine pretty much gutted, and I'm going to show you basically how you're going to be able to take out the floor. So, first thing you're going to want to do is if you have uh, the side sills here, you're going to want to pull up on them. They literally just pull right up. There'll be one in the front and one in the back. So, after you pop this one up, you take that one out. This center piece right here, all you're going to be doing is grabbing and un, you know, pulling the lip around the edge. And you do that all the way around over here, and then this piece comes out. Um, also, you're going to have to pull out the back seat. Now, when you're doing that, what's cool with the Mazda one is this is just a pull-up. So, if you have another person that's going to be helping you, have him go to that side, you go to this side, you grab and you pull up on the front and the whole thing comes right out. It's really easy that way. Um, the next piece you're going to want to take care of is the one that's going to be right here. And this is your big long plastic piece right here. There's going to be a couple pop pins here. <clears throat> one here, one here, and probably one just down here. Um, they can be a little bit tricky but again it's just center pins. So you just have to get that center piece. You'll see it's got a lip and then the center piece. You just pop the center piece out and it comes out. Now after you get all this out and this is all done, replicate this to the other side, get that side all gutted all the way down. Then you're going to want to pull your seats out. Those are 14 millimeter bolts. So you'll pull the 14 mils out of here and once you pull the 14 mils out, then you'll have these cords on each seat. So what you're going to do is on the bottom, you'll see that they've got, let's see if I can get closer here for you. You'll see, see how it's got two layers? This one is flexy. You need to flex that to pull this clip back and out from the other one. Same thing for the other side. Just flex and pull the plug out. Um, but it doesn't just pull out, you have to lift the arm. And then after you lift it up about that much, then it pops out the bottom. All right. Now, <clears throat> after you do that to the other side, you just lift the seats out and it's really easy. Now that seat, you'll see I have the seat still there because I haven't unbolted it yet. It actually goes into the mechanism right into there, but you'll see a side pouch on the side of the seat where the seat belt goes to it and you have to pop that and unbolt it right from the seat. So once you've got to this point, you're probably all gutted here. You've got no seats in, you've got no side panels on. Now it's time to pop the center console, which is actually the easiest out of it all. Um, what you're going to do is you have that plastic piece right here. Um, it covers all the way around the shifter. Put your thumb like this, grab right here and pull up on it. This whole piece pops up. After you pop this piece up, you'll probably get to here and then this piece will start to pop it. Pop this up a little bit and then you grab right here and you pop this up a bit. This whole section is just popping. Once you uh, do that, separate the pieces by pushing down a little bit on this one and lifting this one, and then it'll separate in two pieces, slide that off, pop this off. Once you're to that point, you're going to have your cigarette lighters in here. All you're going to do is unbolt these two Phillips head screws. You can just move it out like that, pull it out from around the gear shift like so, and then you're going to take the light bulbs out. Those just require a small flat blade. Next thing you need to do after that is after you get this out of here, oh yeah, after you get these out, as you can see it's popping, this corner might come out a little bit easier than that one, but yeah, so just slowly work on it, don't put too much pressure on here, you don't want to break your uh, lid off. Once you're back here, screw here, Phillips screw here, another Phillips screw is going to be right here, one's going to be right there, you'll have four. You'll need a stubby to get the two back here, another two Phillips here, another two Phillips here. After that, need an 8 millimeter screwdriver or an 8 millimeter socket you're going to take two 8 mils out of the bottom of the compartment down there once you do that this is all free I can't lift it with one hand or I'd show you I put it back in here so I could give you a reference after you do that there's going to be four pop clips one on each side one here one there and then this one I still have to take out and there's those center clips that I was telling you about you just have to literally get your nails or two or just a flat blade on it. Let me just get up here and I'll show you. I can usually do them with my nails. But all you do is you seriously just go like this. Get the second nail in there. 
and you work it out. I'll probably need a flat blade for that one. It's pretty strong. So yeah, you just pop it out. You can use a flat blade for that or you can use a trim popping tool. But after you've done that, all the carpet should be free and you should be able to lift it right out. There's another pop tab. So yeah, just go around and pop out these pop tabs. That's your best way. And those four right there, the whole entire floor should pop up. And uh, from there you can remove it. All right, I hope that helps you out and thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.